friends, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Babyliss Miracle from Flatiron Experts. It's kind of like a first impressions because I've never used it and it's also a tutorial and my final thoughts in the very end of the video. So I hope that you enjoy this video. I have already shampooed and conditioned my hair and I also dried it and applied heat protectant. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is grab the top layer of my head and I'm just going to pin that up just because I wanna work on the bottom parts of my head. I'm gonna grab maybe half an inch of hair like this. So it's gonna be a little bit thin. And there's a sign on here that says this side up towards head. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have it this side up towards the head. And I'm gonna go ahead and close it and it'll grab my hair. So it beep. The triple beep means it's done. So let's go ahead and release it. Ooh, look at those curls. That's really cute. Okay, so that was fun. So let me keep on playing because this is my first time doing it. You pretty much want to put your miracle anywhere you want your curl to start. I want my curls to start all the way to the base of my head, which is why it's really close to the base of my head. I'm all done curling my hair with the Mira Curl and I decided to kind of skip my growing bangs just because it's kind of too short to grab hold of the hair. It has to be a little bit longer, I think more like shoulder length for it to actually grab because when I tried to grab it, it only got a little like half of it. So I'm going to just show you guys what it looks like. The curls are really tight as you guys can see. I want the curls to last all day so I'm going to put some hairspray all over the hair. And this is the end result. The, the curls look more like waves and they look really casual, like they're not ringlets. Instead, they're kind of like waves. And if I run my fingers through it, they look even more like beachy waves. Here are some more close-ups of the curls. So my overall thoughts on the mirror curl is that I think it's a really great a hair curler for someone who's a newbie to curling or who doesn't like manually curling and this is really easy to use. You just put your hair in and it just does all the work for you. It kind of reminds me of my Neato robot, you know like those robots that vacuum for you. This is like kind of equivalent to a hair curler that curls your hair for you instead of you doing it manually and doing the work. If you want spirals like the really ringlets instead of running your fingers through your hair like I did, don't do that, just let it be. But I like the beachy waves and this is like perfect for like spring and summer. It looks very natural and relaxed as opposed to ringlets, but ringlets are really cute too if you're more on the formal setting. There were some things that I learned in some bumps throughout doing my hair. I learned that if you put too much hair, if you put more than a one inch section of the hair, your hair will get stuck and it won't um, take the hair in. So I recommend only putting half an inch of hair inside the mirror curl or it won't curl your hair properly and it won't do the beep. I also learned that if your hair is tangled, it won't loop your hair inside the mirror curl. So you have to make sure that your hair is tangle free before you do it. The mirror curl heats up really fast so it's nice and easy to use and convenient because you don't have to wait for it to heat up for a long time. Overall, I'm pretty impressed by the mirror curl. I thought that it was gonna not work for some of my hair and I thought that there were gonna be more bumps on the road while I was curling my hair with it. I thought that you know my hair would get stuck more but just putting half an inch of hair inside just made it so smooth and all the curls turned out so perfectly. So I definitely recommend it if you're a beginner in hair curling and you just don't know how to curl your hair. You just do the automatic setting and it does it for you so beautifully. And the other recommendation that I have for you is make sure that the this side up is the side towards your head like that. So that's about it. My hair turned into some really awesome beachy waves, which is perfect for spring and summer. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope that you would subscribe to my channel, April Athena 7, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to make oatmeal soap, which is perfect for those who have sensitive skin, red skin, or eczema. And it's also a really great gift idea, and this is a beginner's way of making soap.